So what you've got here is you've got number eight from the Algebra 1 state test. It's a practice question, and this is a non-calculator question. And what they do is they give you this graph right here, this line, and they call it f of x. And they give you this line right here, and they call it g of x. Okay, it says the figure shows the graphs of the function f of x and g of x. The four indicated points all have integer coordinates. So they're telling you that this point right here is the point 1, 3. And this point is 0, 1. And this point is 1, negative 1. And this point is 0, negative 3. If g of x is some number k times f of x, what is the value of k? Okay, now what that's saying is, is I took the function f of x and multiplied it by some value, and my result was g of x, okay? So I need to create the equation of f of x and of g of x and figure out what do I need to multiply f of x by to end up with g of x. Now both of these are in slope-intercept form, so let me write the slope-intercept form equation. y equals mx plus b. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to evaluate what f of x is, okay? So f of x equals, and remember, slope is the number next to x. So let's figure out what the slope of f of x is. So here's a point right here, and here's a point, and these are both on f of x. So let's write what those two points are, okay? So let's look. This point right here, oops, this point right here is the point 0, 1, so I'm going to write 0, 1, and this point right here is the point 1, negative 1, so I'm going to write that down, 1, negative 1. And remember, slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Remember, this is x, and this is y, and this is x, and this is y. So this is x1, because it's the first one, and this is the first y, and this is the second x, and this is the second y. And so then I just did it. I did y2 right here minus y1 right here divided by x2, which is 1, minus x1, which is 0. So our slope equals negative 2 over 1, which is negative 2. So I'm going to go back over here, and I'm going to say f of x equals negative 2x, right? So that's our slope. Remember, the slope, negative 2, go next, goes next to x. See right here, m means slope, and it goes next to x. And then I need to add to it whatever the y-intercept. b is your y-intercept. Well, you can see that the graph crosses the y-axis right here at 1. So my y-intercept is 1. Say 1. Okay, so I'm going to put plus 1. So that is f of x. Okay, now let's see if we can look at g of x and tell what it is. Why don't you pause the video and see if you can figure out what the equation for g of x is all by yourself. Okay, so g of x, g of x equals, and let's calculate the slope of g of x. Well, you've got two points on g of x. You've got this one, which is the point 0, negative 3, and you've got this one, which is the point 1, 3. And then remember, this is x1, y1, x2, y2. And so my slope equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And so I got 6. I have 6 over 1, which is 6. So my equation is going to be 6x. And then right here, I'm going to put whatever the y-intercept is. Well, you can see it crosses the y-axis at negative 3. So I'll put minus 3. So this is f of x, and this is g of x's equation. 
Now the question is, what do I need to multiply f of x by so that I end up with g of x? Okay, in other words, uh, negative 2x plus 1 times what? Times what? will give me 6x minus 3, right? Well, what if I multiply it by 2, right? So if I take this 2 and I distribute it, well, that'll give me negative 4x plus 2, but I need 6x minus 3. Huh, negative 2 times what gives me positive 6? Well, what if I did negative 3 times negative 2x plus 1 and I distribute it? So negative 3 times negative 2x is positive 6x, and negative 3 times positive 1 is negative 3. So there's my answer. If I multiply f of x, if I multiply this function times 3, so if my k equals 3, if I multiply it by 3, I end up with this function right here. And so if you look at the question, it says if g of x is k times f of x, then what's k? Well, we figured out what k is. k equals 3. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not 3, it is negative 3. I wrote it wrong. I should have written negative 3 right there, shouldn't I? And so, see what we're saying is we're saying if we took negative 3 and multiplied it by what f of x is, we will get g of x right here. So our k, why don't I erase k real quick? Why don't I erase? It won't let me. I'm going to mark it out. So my k was not 3. It's negative 3. And so that's your answer, negative 3.